turn on the light. Last year at Google I.O., Google announced something called Local Home SDK. This gives developers the option to allow their smart lights to be controlled directly through the Wi-Fi rather than going to the cloud. Well, in today's video, we're gonna test that out. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So after the Google I.O. announcement and all the hype, I started to look for devices that actually supported this local home SDK. Well, it pretty much wasn't existent until now. Yeelight actually reached out to me and said they have now fully implemented the local SDK into their smart home devices and they are ready for testing and to be used by anyone. So they sent me these two light bulbs where we're going to do the full testing and I'm gonna run you through how this all works. Now I'm no developer and I don't really understand how this works on the back end, but let me simply explain it to you. So here we have me that is going to activate the Google Assistant. When I activate the Google Assistant, it's actually activating the Google Assistant here on the cloud. It then sends the command to the Yeelight cloud to control the device, and then it sends that information down to the light to turn it on or off, and then you receive the feedback. And sometimes that can take a few seconds. Here in the beginning, that took about three to four seconds just to turn on and off this light bulb. So again, I send a command to the Google Assistant, in the cloud, it then sends it to the light bulb cloud, and then it then sends that information to the actual light bulb to turn it on or off. So it's what the local home SDK offers is the ability for developers to take the interaction with their smart devices, instead of going through the cloud and everything, if there's a device like a Google Nest Hub in your home, it can then interact directly with the smart light over a LAN connection instead of going through the cloud. That's supposed to help the latency where it's only 0.3 seconds instead of the three seconds like we saw at the beginning of the video. So this all depends on the developer, but Yeelight says that they have 100% rolled this out to their devices, so we're going to get it set up today. And I'm gonna do that by showing you how to set up this new Yeelight, and then we're gonna test the speeds from not using the local home SDK, and then the one using the local home SDK. So here we have the Yeelight Smart LED Bulb 1S. Now here you can see that it does connect with other assistants or other smart hubs, but again, the benefit of using it with Google Assistant is it will have less latency, similar to what something like the SmartThings Hub would have, but here you do not need a hub. Here it says no hub required. And again, this is a Wi-Fi enabled smart light. Just like any other smart light bulb, we're just going to screw it into our socket here and make sure it is on. And then we're gonna head into the Yeelight application to get this set up. Now I've already set up my Yeelight app, but I'm just going to select the plus here at the top and I'm going to add this new device. And here we have the color light bulb 1S. Now here it's asking me to reset the device five times. And now you can see it's pulsing, ready for me to set up. We're going to select next, choose our light bulb, select next, choose the Wi-Fi, and then it's going to set up the wireless connection between this and my router. All right, and that was successful. And now we're going to name our light bulb. Let's name it Yeelight 1S LAN, just so we know the difference between this and the other one. Next. Let's choose to put it in the office. And now here it is asking if we want to enable that LAN control. So here it says, turn on LAN control. When the mobile phone and device are on the same network, the device could respond to control commands more quickly, avoiding latency and abnormalities caused by external networks. So just like I said before, it's going to improve the speed of the control over the wireless network. And you can select about Google Home local execution for more information there. So we're gonna select next and now it has been added to our home. Now the last thing I need to do is make sure that I have the latest firmware update on these devices. So I'm gonna select the menu right here and then I'm going to go to firmware update and if there are any updates that are available right there, I'll go through that process. Now if you haven't linked Yeelight to your Google Home, you will need to do that by going into the Google Home application, selecting the plus and then choosing setup device and have something already set up. And then here at the top, you would search for Yeelight, and then you would connect your account. 
But since I already have that set up, I just need to go to the home page to add it into the proper room. Down here, I'm gonna add it to my home. And here I'm going to add it to my LAN room just for fun. So that is the first step to this process is to use a compatible smart device and make sure that LAN control is on. The second step is to use the Google Assistant and sync the devices so it's updated the LAN control. Sync my devices. Syncing devices for 15 providers. We almost have everything ready to test out the difference between the LAN control and the cloud control. The last thing I wanna mention is there it said, you do need to have a mobile device connected to the same wireless network. So if you're using mobile data, it's not going to have the same speed. But if you're connected to the same router with your phone as the smart device, it will have that connection. Also, you need to have a compatible Google Assistant speaker to have that LAN control as well. And Google has said that its devices like the Google Nest Hub or the Google Nest Hub Max or the Google Nest Mini. So as long as you are controlling from one of those devices, the LAN control will work and then you'll have that increased speed. So let's test this out. Hey Google, turn off the lights. Okay, playing Teddy Pendergrist, turn off the lights on YouTube. That is not what I asked. Let's try that one more time. Hey Google. Turn off the lights. Okay, so there they were about the same time. Let's try it again. Hey Google. Turn on the lights. There you could see that this one did turn on a bit more, but it wasn't anything faster. Okay, so here we have the room lights. Let's turn them off. Similar time, turn them on. This one again was a little bit faster. Now I notice this the most when I am turning on the light. So here, let's turn on this light, press the button, there it's on. And then let's turn on the land light, press the button and it's on. So I don't think it's as big as a difference as I would like it to be, but there you could see that there was slight improvement. Now, one of the other benefits of this is not only is it just going to use LAN control, but let's say sometimes there's something complicated with the LAN control or with your network, and it just isn't able to complete the command over the LAN. If the LAN control doesn't work, it can actually fall back to the cloud where it goes from the Google Assistant to the cloud, to the Yeelight cloud, and then control the light. So that will still work in the event that the LAN control is not working at all. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is how you can actually go in and change your existing Yeelight light bulbs so that they now support the LAN control. We're gonna do this by heading back into the Yeelight application. And then here in the menu on the top left, you have this option for LAN control. So in here, you can see what devices are actually set up on the LAN control. So here I'm going to turn on the other devices. Now the LAN control is set up. The last thing I need to do is sync that with the Google Assistant. Sync my devices. Syncing devices for 15 providers. And now I'm going to turn on the lights and compare this with the original command I said at the very beginning of the video. Hey Google. Turn on the lights. I definitely think that was faster. I almost got four seconds here and originally, and now I'm getting about two. Hey Google. Hey Google. Turn, turn on, on the lights. light. <laughs> So as you can see, Brett using the land control there is pretty unimpressed with the overall outcome. So looking through the footage of everything I recorded, there was barely any difference and here it actually happened at the same time. So I've actually been testing out these different light bulbs and the land control for a few more days to find out the different results. And I think one of the light bulbs that I received actually was bad. So we're gonna do the test again with one light bulb and I'm just going to splice the video together here so that you can see um, the one that has not enabled the local home SDK and the one that has enabled it. And let's see how that goes. Turn on the light. light. Turn off the light. We finally have a winner. There you could see that the land control clearly was first. It wasn't like it was way faster, but it definitely was faster when turning on the light. Turning off the light was pretty much the same. Now, I think the main issue here is how long it takes for the Google Assistant to understand the command and then turning it on and off. So hopefully that can improve over time but uh, that's the outcome of today's test. 
and maybe I'm just not doing it right, or maybe the Nest Hub Max isn't fully implemented yet, but that is essentially how the local home SDK is going to work. So if you have any further questions about this process and enabling the local SDK with devices that are supported, please let me know in the comments below. And if you are a developer or you wanna learn a bit more about how this all works behind the scenes, I will leave a link to the Google I.O. videos in the description below that you can check out. If you wanna see more smart home videos that I made all about the Google Assistant, make sure you check out the videos over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.